Hey guys, just wanted to let you know this video is being sponsored by HelloSherry.com. They have the latest novelty toils, massage oils, and bondage play, and a couple of outfits that you can use. And they wanted me to come on and talk to you about long distance relationships and five tips to help them make them last. To share something else with you guys I recently watched the Brown Goddess um, channel about her five tips for a long-distance relationship and I kind of want to piggyback on that because a lot of you guys know that I'm actually engaged now and I am planning my wedding and I know a lot of you wanted me to kind of vlog it but I'm just not like seriously <laughs> getting into the planning stage of it I know it's bad we've been engaged since April of this year 2014 and we just well we had one date of April of next year but then we pushed it back because I have a couple friends that are in school so we want to do it in the summer where it's more flexible but anyways and we tried to pick a date that we would be able to remember and you know never forget so my birthday is April 26th and her birthday is August 24th so the direct middle between those two is June 25th. So that's the date we pick. So just want to give you that little backstory behind it. But I wanted to, um, I guess, kind of introduce you to our relationship a little bit. So we initially started off as a very long distance relationship. We met online, I think through Black Planet. This was like back in the early 2000s. I want to say 2002, 2003. And we talked for about a year or so before we committed to each other. And that's pretty much how I ended up down in the South. Um, I'm originally from Chicago and she's from South Carolina. And once it was time for me to pick a college, I looked here in you know, the South Carolina area, didn't really like any. So I looked at the next state, which was Georgia, and I ended up going to Clark Atlanta. So that's kind of how I ended up in the South and then when I lived in Atlanta, we met and, you know, she came to live with me and blah, blah, blah. So we were long distance for a really long time from about 2003. We were just friends. 2004, I think we made it serious. And about 2007, she moved to Atlanta with me. In 2006, we would go back and forth to visit each other. So I just kind of want to give you some tips if you find yourself in the same situation where you are in a long distance relationship and you really like the person and would like to make it work. Number one, I definitely agree with the bronze goddess that you need to have some kind of plan in place because you're not going to be long distance forever. Nobody wants to be long distance forever. So you either need to decide who's going to move and you know who's going to um, relocate and how long it's going to be before you do these things. What kind of things do you want to establish or complete before you guys take that step to move in or move closer to each other. And Kind of consider your situation as well as your partner's situation before deciding who needs to move or if it's going to be a mutual thing where you both move to some place different. So I definitely think that's important. And I have my notes on my phone so I wanted to not forget them. So like I said, number one is definitely have a goal in mind, knowing who's going to move, how long this is going to work and things like that. Number two, I definitely think you need to set some ground rules on what your expectations are as being in this relationship. If you expect them to, you know, be faithful and, you know, only talk to you on that level or if it's an open relationship because it's not that serious yet because you guys aren't communicating as well, only you guys can determine how you want your relationship to flow. Um, me personally, I don't believe in that. You do what you do. I do what I do. No, we're together and therefore we need to do things together on one accord. So 
set your rules in mind and you know just be open and honest about the things that you want in a relationship especially if it's long distance being open and communicative is definitely important my third thing would probably be to communicate regularly and um, creatively Like there are so many things nowadays. You have the WhatsApp messenger, the pop messenger, you have text messaging, Facebook, FaceTime, Uvu, Skype, like all these different things that you can use. Um, send them little trinkets every now and then. Send them a good morning text, a good night text. I know those things always send me over the top and I'm sure they do for many women. But it's always nice to know that you're thought of, especially during after throughout the day, write a little post message on their Facebook wall or send them a little message on, you know, through their text messages or something like that. Just keep that communication flowing. If you guys have the time, y'all can even do like a little Skype date. I know one time we watched movies um, through Uvu together, like I had a burnt copy, which we ain't gonna tell nobody about. I think of Kevin Hart um, laughing my pain and we just, you know, I pointed the computer at the TV and we just kind of watched it and laughed together. So little things like that can make a lot of difference and bring you guys closer than what you are, you know, physically. Another thing I think is important is to give that other person something of you that's very personal. Um, I think I had a teddy bear that she gave me and also this ring was like one of the first things that she gave me uh, hopefully it focuses so you can see it I really like dolphins and she knew that about me I have a couple of dolphin things that she's given me before but this is like one of the first things that she's given me and I've pretty much never taken it off I have a bangle that's broken but I still have it I have a necklace the necklace is broken but I still have the dolphin pieces from it so a lot of things she learned my style of things that I like and she communicated that through little gifts like even for Valentine's Day this year um she knew I wanted to try flexi rods so I got like several packs of flexi rods she knew I was heavily into couponing so I got a file folder so I could organize my coupons like little things like that like paying attention when I talk and giving me little personal touches based on things that I you know that I like makes all the difference because it lets me know that you're actively listening to me and you truly care enough to take those things into consideration even when I think I'm just saying things out into the open air she listens she receives and she acts on it without me knowing and I think that's just the sweetest thing in the world and last lastly I have to say that you have to make time to visit each other we didn't visit too much at the beginning because we were still in that getting to know you phase but once we finally met up with each other once I moved to Atlanta we visited probably like every other weekend like so much so that she would get in trouble at work because she wouldn't go to work on weekends because either I'd come out here to pick her up or she'd fly back and forth and that was when AirTran had those little cheap deals where it was like $50 $60 to fly back and forth so we would do a lot of that until we ended up moving in together um, in Atlanta. So definitely try to spend as much time as you can and make the best of that time that you guys have together. That's one thing that I really did enjoy about being in a long distance relationship. You didn't have the stress of having them around every day and trying to keep them interested every single time, even when, especially when you were going through hard times, like I was in college, so I had school and classes and work and all this other stuff. But once it came time for me to spend time with her, like everything was able to be ignored because I had all that other time to focus on those things. So when she came and we spent time together, all my focus was on her. And that just made the moment even more special. So those are just a few tips that I have if you guys are interested in learning more about our relationship I'll be glad to share and also you have to take care of yourself in the process everybody has needs and you know 
those needs need to be taken care of especially if your partner is not there and so that's why i teamed up with this company called hello sherry and they sent me a couple of things out um to try and so i just wanted to show you so first which I really love you don't have any idea what's going on the company name is not even on the mailing part and I just think you know that's pretty awesome they actually have somebody's name focus it's on so you can see so there you go you see the company name is not even on there so you can't even really look it up if you had nosy neighbors and things like that and very discreet packaging you have no idea what's inside of here and then I'll show you the couple of things that I ended up choosing so it comes in this tissue paper that is wrapped that says hello sherry on it and I picked three different things to try that I've never tried well one of them I have tried before so this one here is a massage candle let me get my stuff together unwrap it for you guys I have tried a massage candle it was a soy one but this one is scented the one that I do have is not scented but this one is scented and like I said it's a hello sherry candle and this one is called hello rendezvous so you're able to melt this and like I said it's a peach candle you're able to melt this and it uses soybean oil and it's scented with the fragrance peach so once it melts, this becomes very soft and you're able to use the oils from this to actually massage onto your partner's skin. So either you can use this with a partner or use it by yourself if you just want to relax. Next thing I picked up is a little, little whip like this. Nothing too, too bad or anything, but this is all velvet. And then this part right here is suede. Hopefully, it will focus on the actual web. There you go. So this part is suede, so it doesn't hurt or anything like that. Like, and I'm hitting myself pretty hard. It doesn't hurt like that, but you know, spice it up in the bedroom every now and again. And then the last thing I received, it came in this little satin pouch here. And then it also comes with batteries. And it's just like this little mini bullet vibrator. And now I'm trying to take the packaging off. So it's just pretty much this mini little bullet vibrator that you can use to pleasure yourself or the person that you with. Or they can even use it on you when they come into town. So I will show you how well it works. Give me one second. So it comes with batteries already inside and then they also send you additional batteries. So I'll just let you see how strong it is. I pretty much like mine really strong, but don't judge. So hopefully you guys can hear that. But it feels pretty powerful. Oh, it actually goes up. So it comes in different ones. And even stronger so it comes in three different speeds it's super cute and red her favorite color is red that's why I picked this one up in red um so super awesome super affordable and they even so much blessed me with a very generous discount code and I will leave that down in the description box below 
and across the screen here you will get 50% off your order if you use the code Tiandra50 and I don't know if it has like capitalization or anything so I'll be sure to leave it exactly how she sent it to me down in the description box below but be sure to check out the site super super cute stuff I am going to order a couple more things so if you're interested like I said in learning more about our relationship I can give you a haul on the couple things that I also saw that I want to order and I've also ordered some other things from some other places but that's neither here nor there so I kind of just want to come in and share just a little bit of my personal life with you guys so if you have any questions about being in a long distance relationship or about Hello Sherry products in general, leave them down in the comments section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Be blessed you guys. Mwah. Any color that I want to color with and so that one's just red and say I wanted to bring your attention directly up there and you would see it like that.